Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison. I am a first year, second grade teacher. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. Today's video, I wanted to take you along with me through a couple of teacher work days. So this week we have parent teacher conferences, so they gave us two days off, which is super nice. So um, I guess normally we do have Wednesdays off um, as a day to kind of break up our in-person learning. Wednesdays, we usually just check in with our kids in the morning and send out some work, and then um, I am working on some curriculum with a curriculum writing team. However, this week, it's more so focused on giving us some time to work on things for parent-teacher conferences. So it is currently Tuesday, and today I woke up around eight o'clock and I had some meetings. So in case I haven't mentioned it much before, I am in an ELA curriculum writing team where we are pushing out curriculum for the entire district. So um, I was working on that all morning and it is now around, what is it, 11.30. So I am going to go vote because it is election day. So, um, hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, you guys have all voted. I am really excited to go vote. In Missouri, we did not have an option to early vote. So, it's election day. I'm about to go to my polling place and vote. So, I will take you guys along with me. And after that, I'm going to come back home, get some more work done. And it's so nice outside. The sun is out. So, I might take Nala on a walk. Um, I have quite a few things to do for parent-teacher conferences, and it is the end of our first trimester, so grades are due, grade reports are due, so um, I will take you guys along with me and kind of show you everything that I have to work on for the next couple days. It is done. I voted. I was worried since I came around lunchtime that it would be so busy that I wouldn't or that I would have to wait like 45 minutes, but there was nobody in there. I don't know if that's a good thing, but maybe it's because it's a Tuesday at 1130 and people are at work. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, but I barely had to wait in line. And now I am about to head back home. And sorry, the lighting is so bad. <laughs> Now I am about to head back home and I am going to finish some work on the curriculum that I was working on this morning and then I am going to take the little girl for a walk and I was thinking about going to maybe just Starbucks to work on my grade reports today but we'll just see where the day takes us. Honestly, it's so nice outside. I kind of want to sit outside and do some work today so I will keep you guys updated. left Starbucks. It is so nice outside. I could have sat outside forever. I sat out there for like two hours and I got all my grading done, which is crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect to get all of my um, grade reports in by the end of today, but it was just so nice out. I was like, I'll just stay out here and knock it out. 
and I did. So this year though, it was a little bit easier because we didn't have to give um, grades for individual subjects. We only had to really leave comments for the parents for reading, writing, math, and behavior. So um, comments um, typically take a while to put in, but it's definitely not as bad when you don't have to go through and put in individual grades. Um, we use like a one through three grade scale for our subject content areas. However, we didn't have to do that just with COVID and everything and with us being virtual for over a month, we didn't have a lot of time to um, really get to see where the kiddos are at with each content area. We're just now in person getting to see how they're all doing. So yeah, it took a while, but I'm so glad it's done. The only thing that I really have left to do is plan. I mentioned in my morning routine video, I believe, that I like to do all my planning on Wednesday. That way I can just plan for Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday and get four days knocked out that has been working really well for me and i haven't had to really go into school too early um, or stay late basically thursday i'll just go into school maybe a half hour early and print out all my copies for thursday friday and next monday and tuesday and yeah that's just kind of what has been working for me i do plan on making a video really soon explaining how i plan and what goes into planning and explaining to you guys what we've been doing on a daily basis but I have just been trying to get into the routine of it so far um, this year is just so much different than last year last year when I came in mid-year I just had no idea what I was doing and I was just trying to keep my head above water and all I would do is just look at the teacher manual and just print off resources from there. Um, and I was just trying to survive day by day. But this year I have been able to plan way ahead of time and I'm just a lot more organized and my class is a lot more well behaved so we can get through more. Last year, most assignments and activities that I had planned for the day we didn't even get to because their behaviors were so bad we couldn't get through them so this year I have been able to teach more which is great um, which requires a lot more planning for the day um, but yeah I'm just getting used to it but I do plan on making a more in-depth video over my planning process and what all we have planned for next week very soon but it is about 3.30, I just made it home. I do have an Orange Theory class tonight at 5.45, so I'm going to go inside and just relax, maybe eat a little something for the next couple hours, and then I'm going to head out. Now Wednesday, um, the last clip you guys saw was me making dinner whenever I got home from Orange Theory. However, um, my plans have taken a turn. I had a hot yoga um, class scheduled for today and I ended up canceling it because last night before bed I started to feel a little sick. Um, just like my throat was really hurting me and I just felt a little achy and I thought it was maybe just allergies so I took some Benadryl and went to sleep and I woke up and I felt awful I had a headache really really sore throat you can probably hear it in my voice just congestion um, some body aches um, headache and all that 
So I decided to do the responsible thing, obviously cancel my hot yoga class, and then I decided to schedule an appointment to get tested for COVID. So I am about to go get tested right now. I am not looking forward to it, <laughs> but I know it's important. This could just be a cold. I get a cold like this every year around this time, so it could just be a head cold. Um, so I'm thinking that's what it is, but you know, with my job and with my boyfriend being in medical school and being in the hospital all the time, it's really important that I go get tested for both of us. Um, so I texted my principal and I let her know and I told her that I should not come to school tomorrow or Friday. She agreed, so I got a sub for tomorrow and Friday. I've been working on my sub plans all morning and yeah, so let's hope it's not COVID. <laughs> that would suck, but um, either way, whether it's just a cold or not, nowadays you have to be extra careful so I am staying home I'm going to get tested um, and hopefully my results will come back this weekend so I will know if I'm negative hopefully I can go back to school next week but of course I will keep you guys updated I did not expect the vlog to go in this direction but here we are <laughs> so I'll take you guys along with me and of course I will keep you updated as things progress definitely follow me on Instagram because I will be keeping you guys in the loop over there as well. So I just got out of urgent care and basically she said they are out of the um, rapid testing which is like the COVID test that they can send out to get your results back right away. So she gave me a prescription to go to a drive through testing center here in Columbia. So. That's what I'm going to do because if I wanted to do the send out test, it would take three to five days to get my results. Whereas the drive through testing, they can get my results to me within a day, which I really need because if it's negative, I want to go back to work on Monday. So I'm about to head to the drive through testing and hopefully be able to get tested there. That's not fun. If you don't have to get that done, <laughs> do not. <laughs> my eyes watering. Okay, so they said I would get my results back in a day or so. So let's hope <laughs> that I get my results back soon. My eyes are watering. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I am going to be home soon and I'm literally just going to be sitting at home the rest of the night not doing anything um, so hopefully I get my test results back tomorrow or Friday and if so I will let you guys know and I will be posting on Instagram first um, to let you guys know if it's positive or not so if you don't already follow me on Instagram make sure you do I'll have it linked down below and I'll put my username right here so that you can go follow me because um, I definitely am able to post on there a lot quicker than I am able to post videos on here. So I don't know when my next video will be on YouTube, but definitely depending on if my results are positive or not. Um, so I 
will just have to talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate and love you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.